Roblox has found themselves in a funny PR mess, so much so that they've had to respond to it thanks to one of their higher-up employees. This guy called Stefano Carrazza, who I guess is the head of Roblox Studio, whatever that means, did an interview with Eurogamer at the 2024 GDC last month. In the interview, Eurogamer writer Chris Tapsell asked Stefano about Roblox's reputation of being a platform that exploits children. That's a claim a few make because Roblox earns money off of games sometimes created by minors and takes a chunk of their revenue, so, ooh, Roblox is mean to kids. It's an argument mostly aired by non-Roblox players, but anyway, this Stefano guy responded to the question about Roblox's reputation quite bizarrely. He first said, like, you can say, okay, we are exploiting, you know, child labor, right? Or you can say, we are offering people anywhere in the world the capability to get a job and even like an income. So I can be like 15 years old in Indonesia living in a slum, and then now with just a laptop I can create something, make money, then sustain my life. That bit on its own has raised some eyebrows for a couple of reasons, mainly the whole lifting kids out of slums part. I don't really think a 15 year old kid in an Indonesian slum has access to a laptop, especially one that can run Roblox Studio. And even if they do, what are the chances they make a game so successful it becomes life sustaining? What surprised me a bit is that Roblox's official kind of gave the idea that people might be right about Roblox exploiting children. Instead of outright denying the claim, this guy kind of agreed with it, which is really bizarre to see from any higher up figure in any company. I mean, I don't even fully agree with that claim, so for a Roblox employee to say that people can say it is odd to say the least. Things continue to get even weirder in the next little bit, which probably got a lot of people who don't use Roblox quite alarmed. There's always a flip side to that when you go broad and democratized, and in this case also with a younger audience. I mean, our average game developer is in their 20s, but of course there are people that are teenagers. And we have hired some teenagers that had millions of players on the platform. You might have caught a couple weird things there, but this part is what got Roblox to respond. It kind of continues with the whole Roblox is child exploitation thing, acting like there's a good side and a bad side to it, which again is wild to see from a Roblox employee. But the weirder thing is that he said Roblox hired some teenagers that had millions of players on the platform. That's making it sound like Roblox hired a bunch of minors just because their games were popular, which in probably all cases is illegal. Non-Roblox users and Roblox users alike have seen what this higher-up employee said, and a lot of us are probably all equally confused and dumbfounded. A Roblox official not denying and almost agreeing with the claim that Roblox exploits children, then saying Roblox hired teenagers is very strange. Roblox seems to agree that's strange because they issued a lengthy response to Eurogamer that's just as long as the original story. Most of it is in response to that Roblox exploits children claim, so it's mostly random stuff we already know or don't really care about. But Roblox did respond to the claim that they hire teenagers by making it clear the company does not hire minors. That's pretty obvious to us, but imagine what some outsider would think of a Roblox employee saying they hire teenagers. Roblox having to make this big of a response to the stuff the head of Roblox Studio said is pretty insane and funny to me. It's not the biggest deal in the world obviously, but what that employee said is absolutely hilarious given the circumstances. Like, how often do you hear a higher up in any company kinda agree with negative claims made against them, then say they hire teenagers. It's not the first time we've heard strange things from these interviews, and it surely won't be the last time this happens, so let's hope for more funny ones to come.